Hi everyone, it's Russ here, and I'm going to walk you through how to play the God Tier Tabletopia build that we have released for you to play for free right now. I'm playing this using the Steam client on my PC, but the controls will be the same if you play in browser, and the Tabletopia iOS and Android apps have their own instructions on how their control systems work when you load the apps. Let's start by looking at navigation. When you first load into the game, this is the view you'll be presented with, with the board and dashboards in the middle, your champions and their followers on one side of the board, and the tokens, dice and other playing pieces on the other side of the board. To navigate the game, all I'm doing is clicking my left mouse button and dragging in an empty space to move the board around, my middle mouse wheel is letting me zoom in and out, and my right mouse button is letting me tilt and rotate the table. In addition to this, I can zoom in and use my W, A, S and D keys or the direction arrows near the number pad on my keyboard to move clearly and easily around the board. And one final feature that we have is being able to use preset cameras. This will enable you to set shortcuts to specific views that you want. So this is as simple as positioning a view that you like the look of, holding down shift and pressing a number key number one to assign a camera, choosing another view that you like the look of, pressing shift and assigning a different number key. And now at any point in the game, from whatever view I'm in, I can press to move to those camera views. You can assign up to nine camera views, which gives you a nice smooth way of doing things such as looking at the dashboards or concentrating on the dice during your gaming. Let's look at how to manipulate the characters and other aspects of the game. Some elements of the game have been locked. For example, you won't be able to accidentally move the dashboards or the character tokens placed on them. Everything else in the game can be picked up and moved around. To move an object, any object, you simply hover over it, click and hold, pick it up and move it. If you want to move more than one object, you can hold down shift and you can either click and select them or you can draw a box and select them as a group. Once selected and highlighted, you'll be able to move them and place them as a group. Once you've placed your models on the table, you may want to rotate them to change their facing. The simplest way to do this is to hover over the model and press Q. That will rotate your model through 90 degrees. If you shift select a group of models, pressing Q will rotate all of them as a group. Should a model for some reason fall over, hovering over it and pressing Q will also stand it up. The other way that you can rotate parts in the game should you wish to is by right clicking on them. This will give you a rotate menu that gives you the same controls as pressing Q. Working with cards on the dashboard is easy. Placing them is as simple as hovering near the place you want them to go and you will find the cards snap to the correct location. You can press F whilst hovering over a card to flip between its two faces. And at any time and at any distance, double clicking a card will give you a high resolution preview of the face up side. This is very handy during gameplay. Recording wounds for your champions is easy. Use the wound counter placed at the centre of the dashboard and you can change its value either by rolling the mouse wheel or by right clicking and setting any number that you require. Using blights and boons is as simple as dragging them and dropping them to the location that they need to be. Just as with cards, hovering over and pressing flip will change them from their blight to their boon side and vice versa. To use the dice, simply shift select the number that you require to roll for a specific roll. In this case, I need to roll six dice. They will light up in the colour of your player seat. I'm the blue player, so my dice have lit up blue. Then I just need to press R, and the dice will roll and return to that location and remain lit up to show me what my results were. This means that you do not need to worry about dice cluttering the board, and you can select up to 12 dice 
placing hex tiles, it's simply a case of dragging them out and positioning them on the board. Just as with the cards and the light boom tokens, the objective and turn markers can be flipped by pressing F to reveal victory points on one side and the current turn on the other. The game includes some white and black pawns. These are there so that you can place them next to models in a mirror match to indicate who controls which models. However, if you prefer a simple way to track player control is by having your models face towards your opponent, your opponent's models face towards you. Unless you choose to change the facing of your models, they will remain pointing in these directions for the whole game, making it easy to tell whose models are which. That should cover the basics of how to operate the Tabletopia build. Dive in, have fun, and please send us feedback. We'd love to know how much you're enjoying it, or if there are any improvements that you think we can make. Thanks for watching, and may your champions find mighty victories on the field of battle. Bye bye!